Well, in spite of the rail connecti connectivity to our Papa our seaports, cargo evacuation from the port's terminal is still facing delays. The station is not helping the current congestion at the port's corridor. Ifunaya Eze has the report. Government has been spending millions of naira in rail connectivity to the Lagos port complex in an effort to speed up cargo evacuation from the seaport and decongest the roads. But the link is not driving expected traffic in rail cargo movement. It is still frustrating to transport cargoes by rail from the Lagos port complex. Is it just about railway going in to pull containers or cargo out? No. Because what? There are other agencies involved in the operations we do in the port. The port belongs to MPA. Where we carry cargoes and whatever from for now, containers is from APMT. And so we need to work with APMT. So if I go in and APMT takes two, three, four, four, ten, ten hours to finish a rig for me, that will at the end of the day affect the whole operation. If they do it in 30 minutes, I'll be able to pull out in time. There are challenges even with the assurance from the Nigerian Railway Corporation that it has capacity to evacuate cargoes equivalent to removing 190 trucks from the port corridor daily. The challenges are that what? We all need to what? Harmonize our operation. Harmonize means what? Every other agency that is involved, is it MPA, is it customs, is it NDLA, everybody. We all need to look at this issue of evacuation of, uh, I mean, congestion of the Apapa Road and look at any means at all that can help. Until tomorrow, I think the rail is still one of the options that we've not fully explored. If I can go into the port and come out 10 times a day and I have 19 wagons and I can do uh, 19 containers or 19 trucks times 10, 190 trucks off a Papa Road a day. Why won't everybody buy into this? The conviction is that most of the impeding issues are solvable, but require commitment from stakeholders to drive a viable rail evacuation system. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.